Rensted was um, uh, rented out by my family uh, to the West Indian community. Um, that going back to, I think, 1967, somewhere down there. Um, obviously, I wasn't here at the time, uh, but I used to visit frequently because uh, Wensted belonged to my uncles, the, the Buller family, and uh, we used to have our kind of annual holidays here every year and we used to stop here for two or three weeks at a time. That time I was fairly young and obviously it was limited in terms of going to nightclubs and stuff like that. But I knew about Main Street and I knew it was a very, very popular venue for the West Indian community. I know that Main Street was used for reggae dances mm -hmm. uh, in, over the weekend, but was it also used as a, a, a for the, Sikh the Sikh community used it as a as a venue for their social functions, weddings, etc. Not as much as we have these days, because in in the early days, people used to uh, do most of their kind of functioning in their homes. But uh, for larger events, I mean, I know my family used Venn Street three or four times during those periods. Uh, and having said that, weekends it was mainly the West Indian community and Saturday night was very, very busy. I remember going there as a young man. Uh, the amount of sound equipment they used to have, you know, these massive speakers. I just couldn't, I didn't believe, <laughs> couldn't believe the eyes. They were so huge. <laughs> 